Hey guys, Crazy Banner Week, much earlier than expected, is on, and I'm going to be going over, should you summon or should you not summon? So, it might seem like an obvious yes immediately, just like how it was on the Praetis Banner, where I was like, yes, absolutely, immediately summon. But for this one, although it seems even debatably better, because we have a better normal summon banner, it's still kind of a hard call here. So I'm going to I'm gonna kind of explain why that is going over the banners, but just know that this is a very, very good weekend for summoning, and if you feel like summoning, go for it. There's nothing stopping you there, but let me just go from most important to least important. Do you want a break from the ads? Oh, wait. That, that's, that's the wrong ad read. Sorry. Um, this video is sponsored by a Smile One. So Smile One is the official third-party payment platform for the game and has quite a few benefits for you to use them. So number one and the big one is that you get a permanent discount on all W Gold you buy. W Gold then being used to buy stuff in game. So you're overall saving money compared to buying it in the game. And then you also get some benefits, like there is going to be a top-up event from the 26th to the 29th, where you can get rewards based on certain milestones that you reach. And if you want to support me, then you can click my affiliate links down below. As you can see right here, we have the thing open. You just click my links, go over here, and then you can buy whatever, and it helps you out a little bit. Thank you to Smile One for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the rest of it. Number one is the Ancient Banner, and the Ancient Banner is ridiculous. <laughs> we just had Valdoran and Praetis, now we're having Ingrid, new hero, instantly got a banner, has one of the best, the best kits in the game, is one of the best heroes, and no one's really going to have any summons for her. Please, sir. I want some. So, what I am going to say with her is I know that basically no one has anything for her. Um, no one has any ancients. I know I only have like 20 or so. But if you have ancients, I would pull for her. Because in the off miracle, the off chance you get her, she's going to be very game changing for you. She's going to probably be the second best hero in the game. Her A3 is ridiculous. So if you have soul stones for her A3, her A3 is crazy. It's what we thought her A5 was before. Um, when I leaked her a while back before they changed her kit a little bit, she's still insane. And she's just, she's, she's ridiculous. And the reason why she's ridiculous is because she's two heroes in one. Solar mode, stellar mode, I'm not going to go too much into it, but basically she has single target mode, which she does a lot of damage and an insane amount of hits, and then she has the AoE mode, where she essentially is the best AoE unit in the game and is not close, she'll be very good in Gilby Guild, she'll be very good in Garyed 1, she'll be very good literally everywhere, and as you can see here, you can skill her down to literally like <laughs> 100 cost, which is crazy, so... She's very, very unique, very, very interesting. I'm not going to go too much in the kit, not going to waste your guys' time, but she's very hard to get, and I guarantee that not many people are going to get her because everyone went for Praetis, which is what I recommended that you guys do. And then the other unit on the banner is Thalin. So we have the second best unit in the game, and then we have one of the better fighters in the game. Thalin is not the best unit, but he is very good. Um, he's mainly the best in gear dungeon one if you're struggling with the top side you don't have valk he will help you out a ton he's really good in a lot of areas like conquer he's decent you know like he's not like a standout hero in any content he's just pretty good in everything if that makes sense so he's very very strong he is really good in guild boss 2 if i go over to guild boss 2 over here he's actually really usable there's a team from some guy named 00H and then like something something. I, f I forgot what it is. But he uses Thalin and he uses Thalin for stuns. So I can't find it. But Thalin actually does surprisingly work for stuns. Which is really really interesting. You can get like 10 in. It's crazy. And Thalin is very very good. He's one of the better units in the game. Right? I know reviews don't have any weight to them. But as you can see people definitely are enjoying Thalin. So, one of the best banners we've had, really, really insane. Is it Praetis banner level? Maybe a little less, 
but it is very close, and I assume we will not have many good banners after this. So for ancient banners, although we don't have any hard information, we are going to get most likely a Nightmare Lord with Chaotic Dual Faction, essentially Ingrid, but the, her counterpart. So if you want to go for that, you you have Lai, you don't have Torador. That is something to save for. I know if you are planning on saving, it's not a bad idea. But my verdict here is definitely pull on this banner um, and go for her for sure. So I know not a lot of you guys have Ancients because we just pulled. So now we go on to the Hatchet banner, the normal banner. And you guys, if you've seen my last video, already know that I will not be pulling for this banner. But for the average player, there's two things that make it so that you absolutely have to pull in this banner. One of the better banners out there. And number one is Hatchet. So Hatchet is ridiculous. She's incredibly good. She's not the best normal unit anymore, in my opinion. I think Arrogance is better now. Um, a hot take, but that is what I think. But Hatchet is still very, very, very good. She's one of the better units in the game. And while she might not be the best Nightmare unit anymore, she's still the most versatile. She's still one of the most easy to build. If you do not have Hatchet, pull on this banner. That is 100%. You have to do it. Like, you can't not pull on this banner. She's the rarest unit in the game um, on normal pulls, except for Morgan and Laia, who are both lords. She's rarer than most lords in the game. And she's really, really good. She's great for geared under two. She's great for, you know, pretty much everything. Like, I can't just isolate an area Hatchet's good in. Are you kidding me? She's good everywhere. So, pull for Hatchet if you do not have her. That is uh, just 100% you have to. You have to like uh, I will I will not understate how much Hatchet is like amazing for an account an account without Hatchet whenever I see that I'm like shoot you're going to struggle that is what I look at and then the other unit is really really good too now I don't know that much about Glacius I have not been in the loop on Glacius I've heard he's a very solid DPS for Northerner especially if you haven't finished faction trials then this is going to be great let me just kind of go over his kit a bit because I don't fully remember what it is. Um, and then I'll get my verdict based on what other people have told me. As you can see, lots of bursts, increases attack range, and turns basic attack into three consecutive strikes with each strike dealing 90% damage. So essentially a lot of damage, 330% when max skilled. Um, for every max HP of shield strength, it increases damage. So it looks like maybe, although I want to save for lust, which is what I will talk about in a second, um, I might have to go for Glacius purely because I have Elder, but I don't really want to pull for him. He, he gains a shield, which is great, and then he has some freeze immunity, which obviously is going to be more vital later on. So he's very, very strong. I heard his attack, um, his damage, I mean, is really, really, really strong. He gets more shield strength on A3. He looks very, very strong. So if you have Gla if you have Hatsit, and you do not have Glacius, Glacius is definitely a worthwhile addition to the team, and definitely worth going for. So just keep that in mind that Hatsit's like SSS tier, and Glacius is clearly like SS plus tier, and will definitely help you a lot if you're missing single target damage, if you don't have Silas, if you don't have anything like that. Glacius might just help you out. I do not think he'll be that great for Go Bust 2, but he will definitely be a very good option if you do not have a meta team. So if you're missing some damage for that, and he he also gives some like freezing, so that is great. So that is my verdict right here. Um, pull on this banner 100% for sure. I think you would have to be crazy not to pull on this, even if you don't have any shards. Um, and then on the normal banner, if you do not have Hatsit, pull for it. If you do not have Glacius or Hatsit, 100% pull for it. If you have Hatsit, and obviously none of us have Glacius, definitely it could be worth it. But the other thing that you might not want to pull for this banner for is Lust. So Lust, we do not have any confirmed date. We do not have any rumors on a date or anything. This is all just speculation, full speculation. But I think that if Lust comes out soon, it's going to be the next month. Or if she doesn't come out until Valentine's Day again, it's still going to be six months where I can save up and get A5 Lust. Because currently, the way that the meta is shaping up in a lot of content is A5 Lust is amazing. She's game breaking. So if you want a really, really good, you know, boss CPS, you kind of have to go 
with the A5 Lust. Like, that's just how it is. Obviously, none of these scores are concrete yet because it, the reset just happened. But A5 Lust is so strong and it like doubles Lust's potential and we do not know when she's coming. And with all these banners kind of being dropped on us with no warning, I want to just prepare for every eventuality. And for the people who commented in that video I made yesterday, one, I have most of the heroes in the game, and if you have most of the heroes in the game and you do not, you do not need anything, I would save. If you're saving for something like Elowin, you're still going to be saving for Elowin anyways, so you, you know what I mean, save for Lust too. And if a new game-breaking hero comes out, then I will have summons for that hero. So I'm just saying, if you want to do that too, I do recommend it if you are a whale or a late game player that has everything they would need. Now, 2x, I'm going to say the same thing I always say, just really quickly. If you were early game, if you were earlier, you're going for quantity over quality. 100% pull for this. Like, that is definitely worth it. Divines are always worth it for the 2x, because otherwise you're never going to have good rates. Otherwise, I would skip this if you were later in the game, like I am, and you're essentially just trying to flesh out your roster with the very good units. Like, if there was a Salazar 15x, I would consider it. If there was a Cetrum, because I do not have them. So if you do not have, you know... A couple good heroes, like if you don't have Silas, Vierna, Hex, Elowin, I would just say for one of those banners, if you have most of the other characters. So, that's kind of my perspective there. But, tell me what you guys think, what are you guys going to summon for, if you want to, you know, support me a little bit. Uh, you could go sign up for the viewer summons, which will be linked in the description below. Make sure you use my affiliate links. Thank you for smiling for sponsoring this video and everything. Um, thank you guys for watching, though. I do appreciate it. And good luck with your guys' summits. So that's it for me, Destined, signing out.